In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, it's all about going on holiday. Hello, my name is Carl Pauline and in this 66th episode of Evernote, working with Evernote, I want to show you all the little things, well, basically the one thing that you really must do if you're getting yourself ready to go on vacation or if you're getting ready yourself to go on holiday. I use the word holiday and vacation interchangeably if you're British or prefer British English, then we're going on holiday. And if you prefer the American English version, then we're going on vacation. It gets very confusing, I know. Okay, so what we're talking about here. Well, Evernote has a wonderful f function called offline notebooks. And these offline notebooks are really, really useful when you are going on holiday, simply because airports and hotel lobbies are not the best places for Wi-Fi and mobile roaming on your smartphone is often very, very expensive. So what we want to do is we need to make sure that our flight itineraries, our hotel booking forms, our flight tickets if we're not using um, Apple's wallet or Google wallet or whatever it is on Google, if you're not using those functions, you need to have quick access and more importantly, reliable access to that information. And if you're relying on your Evernote to use the local Wi-Fi or the local data roaming, as I say, it can be very expensive and also Wi-Fi might not be quite as reliable where you're going on holiday as it is when you are at home. So what I want to do in this episode is show you what you can do to set your Evernote up so that you do have access to this vital information. There are other things that you may actually want to actually include in this notebook. For example, the, ho the address of the hotel in the local language. Now, I live in Asia. Most of you know I now I live in South Korea and South Korean uses a completely different uh, lettering system to the way that we use say English or European languages. So I need to be, although these days I can read and write in in Korean myself but for example if I was going to China or I was going to Hong Kong or places like that or even Japan then I'm going to need to have the address of my hotel written in the local language so that if I need to use a taxi I can just show the taxi driver the address in his or her native language. These are some really crucial things that you can do to set up your Evernote so that you have access to this information whether you're in a taxi, in a hotel lobby or in an airport with not too good Wi-Fi. So before we go into Evernote what I would just like to ask if you if you like this video please click on the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe to my channel let's get boosting our numbers so that we can help more and more people. Okay let's go into Evernote and I'll show you how to set this up. Okay, so here I am in, with my iPhone and I, what I'll do is I'm going to show you from my iPhone. So we open up Evernote and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new notebook. So you click on all notes up at the top here and you'll see down here at the bottom left hand corner, new notebook. Click on that. I'm going to call this 2017 holiday. I don't use the word vacation. So we're going to create that and what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know why it's calling it holiday one, so we're going to click on that. This notebook is empty. So we're going to here and it says make available offline. So we click on that and now this note is offline. So what I can do now is this is uh, my plane ticket. And I can save that. So we click on done and that's now saved. Now, if you notice up here, that actually synced to my laptop or my desktop computer. Now, the thing is, when I am doing this, what I will do is I will show off my, I will use my um, 
I will use my laptop or desktop to actually store the ticket. So this will download perfectly normal. Now, what I wanted to show you is if you look carefully here at the side of all these notebooks I have, you can click on these here, download, download, download. These will download your notebooks to your device. But the thing is, once you have them in here, the beauty of it is, is that you now have an offline notebook. So all you have to do is make sure that your um, phone or tablet or whatever you're using is updated before you go on holiday. So while you have good Wi-Fi at home or whatever, and then you've got it all there for you when you arrive. Now to change settings, you just to move in there, you can click on that and you can turn it off or on. You can add it to your shortcuts. You can add it to a stack and you can actually delete a notebook. So you do have quite a few options available to you. And to do that, all you have to do is slide on the, um, you can do it on my incubator, which is a notebook that isn't downloaded. But that's one way that you can set up so that your holiday information is safe and secure and you know that you have full access to it as and when you need it. Okay, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions at all about this, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And it just remains for me to wish you all a very, very productive week.